Okay, Shalom. Shalom. Kwame Yasa'ala. Kohoroyola. Yehawa Ba'ashim Yahushai Ba'ashim Rekah HaKadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And by the Spirit. Taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws and statutes and commandments of Yehawa Ba'ashim Yahushai to the best of their ability. Zachananawa. Just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And I've seen this article and it just goes to show how the Lord is not leaving any stone unturned when it comes to showing who Esau is and his wickedness. <clears throat> He's being shown to be the wicked on every level these days. I'm talking about <laughs> on every level. And when I seen this, I'm like, OK, it says Michigan birds being renamed for controversial, even racist connotations. Right. So I'm going to get just a little bit of it. It says times change. And as a society, we tend to realize that things we thought were acceptable in the past have so much, so much more sinister and hateful historical meanings. Then there's just some instances where a bird is named after a famous bird collector who just happens to also be a Confederate general. <laughs> And they, 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 they went through a list of birds and things of that nature. I'm not going to keep this long. Um, but they're they're renaming um, pretty much all birds that have like human names. They're just going to rename the birds, you know, as far as, you know. So in a lot of these birds, they hang out right in my front yard. Like this is a, um, the, the cardinal. It's a cardinal nest in my backyard where they've been nesting for generations, man. My dad wanted to cut the tree down. I'm like, well, if you cut the tree down, the birds are not going to come back. And, they, you know, they, you know, you, you can see their little chicks, you know what I'm saying, or the little babies. And they start off kind of brownish, you know what I'm saying? And then as they get older, they change and they turn this dark, beautiful red color. This is a blue jay right here. They hang out in my yard as well. Um, these right here, they, they be deep in the yard. But it's like all the birds hang out, though. I mean, it, I don't know. It's just like. There, that's an American robin. Oh, yep, the woodpeckers too, because you hear them all damn day long. Got those as well. So, and pretty much, you know, where I live is, it's kind of like it was before Esau tore down the woods, you know, so to speak. It's, it's just like what he does, you know. He, you know, deforest. He he cuts the trees down every fucking where he goes, but it's some older trees on our street, you know, that's been over there for hundreds of years. And each yard has one of those big trees in front of it. So it's really shaded in the summertime. Keeps the house cool. But a lot of those birds and a lot of different animals live in those trees. You know, from squirrels to, you know, um, I mean, some of everything live in those trees. Hell, even raccoons, all kinds of shit. But, you know, it's beautiful to watch nature. But I just wanted to make a point on this, seeing it. And mainly, you know, what I wanted to go into was the <laughs> was the comments. I already knew the comments. These people see Esau, he, he you know, he really he sees his kingdom falling. And, and and it's really they can't take it, man. They can't take it. A lot of stuff they're embarrassed by. Cause this is pretty much like um, you know, when they was getting rid of those um those big ass statues and shit like that when George Floyd, you know, supposedly caught his demise and all that other stuff, but this person says, what's next? Chocolate milk, white milk. See this type of stuff. Stupid. This person says stupid. Nothing better to do than think of stupid things to do. See Roberta Johnson. These all Edomites. Lorraine Bryan. Stupid. Leave things alone. Do we have to change everything because someone might get their feelings hurt? Get over it. See, this is how they feel. This person says of Sue Spencer, and this is mainly a bunch of damn Edomites, Shedomites. Do we not have more important issues? This is just ridiculous. See, this person says unbelievable. Next person says ridiculous, stupid move. I'll still call them by their original name. See, this person says Jesus Whitmer can't be gone soon enough. And they talking about the governor that they was trying to kidnap and shit. This person says fucking stupid. Next person says, I need my video with kittens and hot chocolate. Uh, next person says, everything is going to need a prefix formerly known as there is always going to be a history, no matter how one tries to erase it. It's that simple. Well, I mean, a lot of the shit you so-called white people want to erase because it's, it's, it's shameful spewing. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. 
Shameful spewing, man. I'm like, damn, hey, the Lord is on their head right now. <laughs> the Lord on their head, man. When it comes to something like that, I wouldn't even even had thought of nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Lord showing you that even the birds named after their asses is on some racist shit. Habakkuk 2 and 16. Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also and let thy foreskin be uncovered. The cup of the Lord's right, right hand shall be turned unto thee. And shameful spewing shall be on thy glory. So everything that they glorified in is shameful spewing on it now. And you can clearly see now. Let me get this too because you can see from the comments that they don't have no um, shame. You know, a lot of them they still, you know, in the backdrop. They, they, you know, they still on that tip because Esau has that perpetual hatred for you, Jake, man. Y'all just don't get it. This is um, Psalms um, seventy three. This is why we tell you to beware of this man. The scripture says to never trust thine enemy, you know, because he's a he's a he's a he's a hateful person. I'm talking about cruel hatred. This man had cruelty, cruel hatred towards us. Not not your regular type of hatred, cruel hatred towards us, man, as a people. Psalm 73 and three, four. I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked, for there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. Verse 5, they are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Verse 6, therefore pride compasseth them about as a chain. Violence covereth them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. The point right here, verse 8, they are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. See? See those comments? That's how we know who Esau is too. As a matter of fact, let's get this Job 9 and 24. Because who has enough power to actually even name a bird? The same people that has the power to tell you right now that they're about to rename the birds. It's the so-called white race. This is their kingdom. So Job 9 and 24 says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? He's in control. You know, Adam named everything. This motherfucker, he done named some shit after him. You see this, you see this man every, you know, his airports, even cities, you know, countries. The scripture talks about how, you know, he will, you know, name things after himself, basically, roughly paraphrasing. Everywhere he goes, he's got a fucking statue up somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, all these cities are named after him. You got uh, held the damn months, the the weeks, the, the you know, all this shit is named after him. A lot of different stars and galaxies and you know. Then you're like, oh, well, I discovered it. Well, what the fuck? How you discover some shit that was already there? You see? Just like the Americas. America was named after a so-called white man. Africa was named after, you see? So when they conquer shit, they name it after themselves. But that shameful spewing, people are starting to see, okay, uh, 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 you're the wicked. As a matter of fact, let's get Psalm 64 and 8 because really what's happening right now is... It says, so they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. So they're making their own tongue to fall upon themselves when you see articles like this. And actually, let's go to the New Testament because this is what's really happening. Because this is how you know this is an indicator that we are in the end of, of this 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 um this kingdom, so to, so to speak. Second Thessalonians 2 and 3, let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come. Also, like you always... Let me start from the top. The Spirit been on me about just getting all these verses, one, two, and three, and verse four as well. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord, Jesus Christ. That's that's verbatim, but we know that the Lord's name is not Jesus because there's no letter J in the Hebrew alphabet. They actually, the so-called white man, he actually gave you that bullshit. Letter J was invented in 1524. There was no letter J sign when the Lord walked the earth 2,000 years ago because the letter J was only created 500 years ago. So they gave you white Jesus. They gave you a picture of him with the blonde hair, blue eyes. They know the scriptures describe him as being a dark, melanated man. But see, even with things like that, he even took stuff like that. So this man got to pay for all the shit that he's done, man. You see? The Lord's name is Yahawashai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in the Paleo-Hebrew. And the true name of the father is Yahweh. Which means he exists or the existing one. And when you go off into Daniel, it, it describes the Lord, even the father, as being um, dark. The son being a dark, melanated man. 
the apostles, the elders with Moses, or, you know, but what do they do? They give you these movies. They show themselves as the people and the Lord is going to destroy them for that shit. So see, now all that is starting to come back to hit them over the head. And the reason being is because we're in the last days. The Lord is, 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 is revealing who the real fucking devil is, man. Satan's physical counterpart on this planet is the so-called white race. You can't get around it, man. It's them. Right? So... Right now, they be all looking at me. Shit, I don't give a shit. I'm gonna do this lesson. Um, let me start verse one again. It says, Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, and by our gathering together with him unto him, Salakia, that ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit nor by word nor by letter as from us, as that day of Yahweh Shah is at hand. So the Lord is his day of coming is, is almost here. This is the point right here, verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come. Except there come a falling away first. So the, the falling away then already came. That happened. That's what the, the Israelites, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, falling away from their culture, their history, not knowing who they were. Because the so-called white man, he has beat the shit out of us, and he has given us all these, these fucked up names, you know, African American and Haitians, Jamaicans, you know, Puerto Ricans and Latinos. Those are not our nationalities, man. We, we are Hebrew Israelites from our respective tribes. Our forefather, Jacob, which name was changed to Israel or Yahshua in the Hebrew tongue. He is the prince of the power is what it means. He had 12 sons. Those 12 sons, we come from those 12 sons. We are the children of Israel and they know it. So that part of the um, prophecy is already happened. The falling away first, right? But it goes on to say, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. So now we're in that part of the prophecy where he's being revealed. We know who he is now. That man of sin, the son of perdition. See, they, they give you these movies with this, you know, the, the, the red guy in the spandex suit. He got the pitchfork and shit with the horns on his head. And he got these movies about, you know, this lake of fire under the earth and all that silly shit. None of that shit is in the Bible, man. So if they fool the world into... Thinking that there's this one guy coming, this antichrist guy. But the scriptures talks about there's multiple antichrists. Anybody that don't believe in Yahweh size of antichrist. They're not going to give you the, the clear description of what the Lord looks like. That's an antichrist. They're not going to tell you that the Lord's name is really not Jesus. That's an antichrist or anti-Mashiach, anti-Messiah rather, right? So he's being revealed. Verse four says, who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called God or that is worshiped so that he is God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Then he give you white Jesus. He's showing himself as being God. Then he give you the white God. All the movies you see is, you know, Moses is white. Adam is white. Eve is white. Yeah, hell, even the damn Egyptians is white. When you see these movies, so-called white people playing all the parts. Then you'll see a speckle of a nigga in the background, you know, pouring a, 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 a wine into a cup for one of them. You know, <laughs> you know, they, they just totally delete the dark people out of the out of the scriptures. Right. So anyway, I just wanted to touch on this for a hot sec because it's very I, I just found it interesting. And it, it wasn't surprising, you know, you know what I'm saying, that these people will have this particular type of hatred still because it is it, it, this is Esau. They have that perpetual hatred for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This is why we tell you to come out of this place. It's high time to awake out of sleep and to repent. You got to come out of this man's way of thinking, come out of his system, and, and, and just live day to day, man, on your daily bread. Repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, because he's coming soon. But this is a part of the last day's prophecies that this man must be revealed, and we're starting to see it. Even something as simple as this, like I'm thinking like, well, damn, the birds, even, motherfuckers, they, 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 these racist motherfuckers are named the birds even after themselves. Anyway. This person says maybe these people want to get paid so they have to they have to look like they're doing something, creating new names so people buy more books to keep up. Yeah, right. Time to fire them all. See. This person, Daniel Barnhouse. This is starting to go beyond stupid. Grow the fuck up. <laughs> it is. It's in the past and let it stay there. It's called history. If all wine babies want to do is cry, 
about everything in life than pack your bags and move out of this country. See, this is how they feel. See, this is how they feel. This person says not doing it. They're still the same bird as yesterday. The books I own prove it. Laughing out. See, side note, just like most people I know still call X Twitter laughing out loud. It's all a bunch of BS. Oh, in the times we live, this too shall pass. See, this is how they feel. This person says, I'll have to burn my bird books. <laughs> this person says, this is getting ridiculous. Leave the damn birds alone. Well, they ain't even nobody messing with the birds. They want to get rid of y'all whack ass names off of them. Anyway, let me grab another one real quick. But they, they got that perpetual hatred for you, Jake, man. And they're proud of that shit. But if you see them out in public and, and say if you're in a downtown area and they're just walking along and, and you know, they'll front like they, you know, they care. But in these in, in these situations, these 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 keyboard warriors, or they'll tell you how they really feel about your ass. You, Jake, better wake up, man. Ezekiel 33 and five. Let me see. Uh, oh, that's not what I want. It's like at 35. And five. Let's start there. Thirty-five and five. Because thou has had a perpetual hatred, and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord God, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. And this is for you, Edomites, man. The future is bleak for you, so-called white people, man. Your shit is over with. And the Lord is going to, you know, it's going to be some, rip, yeah, hey, it's not going to be a good look for you guys in the kingdom. All your lies are being exposed. People are going to be looking at you like, oh, they're also, you know, these are the people that was fronting like they were the people. Y'all going to get, man, it's going to be, it's going to be nasty for y'all. I'm just going to keep it classy. It's going <laughs> to, it's going to be nasty for you, man. But also, let me get that one. Um, Because they're like, oh, yeah, that's, that was the past. We had nothing to do with it. But the Lord requires the past, right? I'm not getting away with that. Ecclesiastes 3 and 15. That which has been is now, and that which is to be hath already been, and Yahweh requires that which is past. See? Because it's not like y'all not the same people. Y'all still think the same way. You see, y'all proud of y'all Fourth of July. Y'all, you, you proud of, you know, um, um, don't y'all have songs and shit? Proud of being American? You get mad when don't nobody want to uh, uh, put their hand on their heart and pledge allegiance with your whack ass song? Your Francis C Scott Key. You see, the bridge got mangled. That's a that's a omen, man. <laughs> that's like a sign, man, of, your, uh, of this place falling. Matter of fact, I was driving the other day. I seen a damn American flag on a, on the curb in the trash. <laughs> and it just dawned on me. I I I looked at it as being a um a sign of this place um uh, uh falling, man, being through. Matter of fact, let's get one more. See, we we're just patiently. The scripture says we're just patiently and faithfully waiting. We're just waiting on our Lord. That's all. We're just gonna keep on doing this work. You know, be thankful for our daily bread. We're not making no futures here. We already know what's up. We, we're looking to the future of the kingdom. This is um, Isaiah 14 and 21. It says, prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. See? For I will rise up against them, saith the Lord of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and, and remnant, and son and nephew, saith the Lord. <laughs> it's not going to be a good look for y'all, man. You know, y'all going to build up our kingdom like we built up yours. You know, and and and, and we're gonna beautify the earth again because you 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 so-called white people, you damn crackers, and tore this place up, man. You you completely destroyed this beautiful planet that the Lord created, man. Now you all out in space and shit, space junk, fucking shit all falling to the earth. You you can be walking, man, on a damn old ass satellite and fall and hit your ass in the head, man. Take your ass out of here. They'll get the line about it was a meteor. You know. This dude got to go. He he has to go, man. He's the wicked that the Bible speaks of. And, I, and like I said, again, I never would have thought, even from a story like this, it just lets you know, man, how far 
Esau's kingdom has fallen because there was a time when they was proud as shit of all the stupid shit that they've been doing in the earth. Now they want to get rid of critical race. They don't want history to be taught in schools. Why aren't they fussing about that? Now that, well, it's history. Why would they get rid of the birth? Well, why don't y'all, why aren't you marching? Why aren't you marching and allowing, uh, 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 why, why, why are you going so hard to get rid of the so-called black history out of these schools and stuff like that? That's history, right? And that, isn't that a part of your history? But they don't want to hear that part. You know, they don't want to hear about, uh, 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 you know, stringing Jake up in them trees, man, that strange fruit. They don't want to hear about the, the alligator bait and things of that nature. They don't want to hear about, you know, t tying Jake to horses and ripping their limbs off of them and shit, man. They don't want to talk about the buck raping. They don't want to talk about uh, uh, their nasty ass great great grandfathers and shit running into the cabins and 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 raping our women. Planting seeds in them and then putting the damn seeds in the field, their own seed. Right? They don't want to talk about none of those. those and, and, and it's a lot more brutal things that they've done. I'm just basics, man. They don't want to talk about none of that. But when it comes to these fucking birds, oh, leave it alone. It's history. You don't like it. Get out of my country and all this other bullshit. When you the ultimate immigrant, that's the crazy part. You the ultimate immigrant, but you, you know, everybody got to come through you. That's how we know that the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Because everybody got to come through you to try and live somewhere. See? So, so, so they're starting to, you know, that, that man of sin, that son of perdition is being revealed. So a beautiful thing, you know. I just seen that. Thought it would be interesting to do a lesson on it, you know what I'm saying? I pray that it was edifying by the spirit. And, and, and I'm here with them now, man. The look that they be having on their face. It's only like maybe a... Five of us here, you know what I'm saying? Five or so Edomites. I mean, um, Israelites. But man, there's hundreds of fucking Edomites in this motherfucker. And they all got that stupid ass look. Right? I'm out in my vehicle right now. I don't even like to be in the building. I just hang out on my ride until, you know, it's time to get the fuck on, man. <laughs> Straight up, man. You know what I'm saying? They spy on you. They got cameras all on you and shit. And they want to, you know, and just, you know, it's crazy, bro. Anyway, with that, hey, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Quam your shoulder.